Hey guys, welcome to another uh, Pro Gardens and Parts YouTube uh, tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a GX160 engine and stripping it down, ready for uh, preparing it for further tuning. Uh, so this video is to show you how to strip it down to the bare bones, um, getting ready to fit whatever tuning parts you may want to do. So in this box, we have a brand new GX160 UT2 uh, Honda engine. So we shall open it up. So here we have our GX160 UT2 engine, and uh, to strip it down to the bare bones is relatively easy. So we're just going to get into it. First of all, remove the air filter cover and we use the air filter cover just to put all the nuts and bolts into. Move the air filter, the air filter rubber washer, pull the spark plug off and then I've got a impact gun with a 10 mil on it. You can start to pull the engine apart. Next, you need to change to the 12 mil to take the exhaust off and lift the exhaust off. Then it's back to 10 mil to take the throttle lever arm off. And the throttle return spring. And at this point I pop the governor rod off the carb and the governor spring, and that can be taken off. You probably will, can throw that away, you won't be using that. Carb spacer and the carb. And you can then remove carb gasket, carb insulator and start buzzing the side cover off. There's four bolts for the side cover, two on the top, two on the bottom and pull the wire apart from the kill switch. Turn the engine round. And we can remove two 10 mil bolts. Holding the heat shroud on. We can then remove the four bolts holding the rocker cover. And the rocker gasket. Once we have the rocker cover off, we can change back to the 12 mil and remove the four cylinder head bolts. One, two, three, and four. And then lift the cylinder head off. And 
the new UT2 engines uh, don't have any exhaust valve rotators. UT1 and earlier engines will have an exhaust valve rotator, uh, so make sure that doesn't fall into the engine. Lift the two push rods out, the cylinder head gasket, the two dials for the cylinder head. And now we can then use back to the 10 mil to buzz the ignition coil off. And just wind that off, prise off the securing clip and remove the coil. Okay, the next thing to do is remove the side case and uh, there's always a little bit of oil in the engines when they're shipped so uh, it's advisable to put a few rags down, set the engine on and then you can go back to the 12 mil socket and buzz the six bolts off. One, six. And turn the engine so it is sitting on the uh, flywheel and just a light tap will lift the side case off along with the gasket. You can then lift the camshaft straight out and remove the cam followers. And next we can then remove the two side case dials. That's part of the governor mechanism that's uh, just fallen out. So, um, that can be thrown away, we won't be using that. So move the piston to almost at the very bottom of the uh, of the bore. Then I use a 10 mil ratchet spanner. What we want to do is crack off the two conrod bolts. Let's just see if you can see that a bit better. So remove the two conrod bolts. And then the top one, might need to move the flywheel slightly just to get in. And pop off the bottom of the conrod. Next, turn the flywheel forwards till the piston comes up to the top. If you continue, the conrod will then drop down. And it's just a case of putting your finger underneath and pushing the piston out. And secure these two together. We can then 
start to remove the flywheel. So for the flywheel we need a 19mm socket and again just hold the flywheel and buzz the bolt off. Set the fan and the starter cup to one side and then with the nut thread the nut back on. Now there's two ways to remove the flywheel. Um, one way is with uh, the nut off is with a set of uh, pullers. Put the pullers on, tighten the pullers on and eventually it'll break the seal and the flywheel will pop off. The second way is to put the nut back on. Now you can only do this method if the con rod has been completely detached and then take a copper hammer and give the engine a good hit on the face of the con rod on the, uh, the nut that you just put back on. That breaks the seal. You can take the nut off and then pull the flywheel off with it. Crankshaft will then just slide out. So the final thing to do is to remove the, uh, the governor mechanism. As you can see, this lever maneuvers the governor me mechanism inside the engine. All this we want to have removed. So back to the 10 mil socket, take off a small bolt, nut and bolt on the top, pull the lever off, pull off the small R clip and the shaft should fall through and there will be a washer with the shaft that you need to ensure comes with it. The final step is to remove the plastic gear. Um, there is also this little cap which can be lifted off. So the easiest way to do this is to grab a screwdriver, prise between the plastic gear and the shoulder of the crank bearing, just move the gear up and what you see is there's a small tiny circlip, it's this circlip that you're trying to prise off to be able to lift the plastic gear. And then there's a washer left, which is the easiest method to get rid of is to grab a small magnet and lift the final washer out. So that is basically the GX160, completely stripped down, ready for tuning. Thank you.